I know I have a lot of subscribers that are playing in high school. I be seeing the comments and I notice a lot of kids getting scared that they won't get a scholarship and play on the next level. I went through the same thing when I was in high school and I made a lot of mistakes to the point that no D1 coaches was even thinking about me. It was tough to live with at first, but I eventually moved on. But if any of y'all want to play basketball in college, y'all can't make the same mistakes that I'm going to talk about in this video. Or else, you're going to be sitting right next to me in the bleachers. Facts. Something that I used to do a lot that really held me back is focusing on players that were better than me. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're focusing on different players to try to learn from them, that's cool. That's how you get better, playing against better competition. The thing that I'm talking about is don't glorify these players. I remember when I was in high school during my freshman year. I was probably about six foot, six foot one, around that height, and I was kind of athletic. I could grab the rim, and I was one of the fastest players we had. So I had a good foundation to build on. The D1 dream was still alive. But it was one day when everything changed. I had just got home from school. It was about the same as any other day. I would fix me something to eat, then hop on YouTube. And when I did that, this video popped up in my recommended. It was titled, The Best 14 Year Old in the Country. Now, this immediately caught my attention because at the time, I was 14. And I used to be at the gym all day. So I was thinking, this dude can't be better than me. So I thought, when I clicked that video, bro, I was never the same. It was like something I've never seen before. The way he was just dunking on everybody. And at that very moment, I started to doubt myself. Instead of using that video as motivation to improve my game, I became so scared to the point that I felt like I didn't even stand a chance. So why even try? And that was only the beginning of my failed basketball career. Another mistake that I made while playing basketball in high school was relying on the things that I was good at and not focusing on my weaknesses. Before I played on varsity, I used to play shooting guard. So really I used to just focus on all guard skills like shooting, dribbling, that type of stuff. But when I eventually moved up to varsity, everything changed for me. It's not like I went to one of those great high school programs where everybody was seven feet tall and dunking. We were just your ordinary team. And I was one of the tallest players on the team. So you know the coach did me bogus. He put me at the center position. Now, it was cool because I was in the starting lineup. I was able to brag about that to the females. But when it came to actual games, I was just out of place. The people I played against were way bigger than me. And I didn't have any post moves at all. I was able to get some rebounds, but that was just about it. I wasn't really a big factor. I was just there. It was kind of embarrassing. Another thing that I really wish I would have done differently is to stop trying to prove things to other people because it never stops. There's always going to be new people to impress, whether it's coaches, other players, or people in the crowd. You're never going to be satisfied. I know for me personally, I fell victim to that all throughout high school. I was a pretty good basketball player. People would tell me that all the time, but I just couldn't see it for myself. Mentally, I felt like I was trash, bro, and everybody else was better than me. I just had no confidence at all, but I didn't want people to know that about me, so I would always go out of my way to impress people. Sometimes I was successful, and sometimes I wasn't. And during those times where I wasn't successful, I used to be crushed. I felt like I got exposed for the fraud that I really was, and it made me question if I should ever touch a basketball again. I know from experience, bro, when you don't have confidence in yourself, eventually it's gonna show. It's an energy that you give off without even noticing. So work on y'all game and block everybody else's opinions out. Or else y'all gonna go out sad like I did. Peace.